Hello everybody, it's Michael here. I know it's been a while. <laughs> I think it's been about two weeks. Um, so, I'm in Shanghai at the moment and I am prepping my stuff for the classes I have today. Currently what's going on is I've got two weeks left going from Nantong to Shanghai. Uh, I'm sorting out the apartment situation stuff at the moment and basically transferring all my bits and pieces over to here. I'm in a suburb of Shanghai, it's called Anting. Uh, it's a rather different uh, and unique place in comparison. It's pretty much like any other suburb. Like Nantong is a, the Tongzhou where I was, where I'm currently living and where I will be leaving soon, um, is a suburb of Nantong, which in turn is in Jiangsu, Jinxia province. So it's a rather <laughs> it's a rather unique thing. So I'm going from one place to another in order to um, change from one plate one job to another. Uh, over here, my role is kind of different. Uh, before, I was just a kindergarten slash training center teacher, where I was working on teaching kids. So from anything from I believe like the age of three and up. So um, I was teaching kids from three to five and then from five to about eight years old. I uh, was teaching teenagers at one point, but that went to a different teacher after the coronavirus. Now, here in New Stage, it's a different story. Um, I'm one of the head foreign teachers here, which is great. Uh, I get to also help um, mold and create a proper kindergarten program for, for here as well, using the tools I already have. Uh, the tools and the lessons are more extensive. So it's before I was doing kind of like a McDonald's, like 30 to 40 minute lessons, um, where a lot of them actually required no planning whatsoever. We had a ingrained sheet. So we taught it any way that we wanted to, but the, the sentences, the structures, the words were all there. Um, this is pretty much the same. It's pretty similar, but we have options in terms of teaching. So the one thing I'm grateful of is I managed to go from um, a place where I learn everything. Uh, the one thing you'll have to find when it comes to uh, China itself is there's not much training. <laughs> you have to train yourself in a sense. They kind of like, here's the tools you need, go off and do it. And then complain for probably about a month and a half why you're not good enough to do it yet. Um, so that gave that place gave me the tools to kind of come here and be able to do things. I'm not an expert per se, but I'm at least a lot more seasoned than I was. So we spent a year training and getting myself up. The goal here is also to basically um, do some training and get my teaching degree. I have a degree in drama and theater arts. Um, so yeah. Apparently the UK government don't, doesn't like people like me at the moment, but hey, that's what it is. Uh, yeah, screw you, Rishi. So, um, I have a current degree in drama and theatre arts. The, the idea is to get my teaching degree and then maybe, maybe, uh, move on to my master's and maybe even go for a professorship. And it's just basically ploughing away, getting as much uh, capital as I can while I'm here and creating a plan for what I want to do and how I want to do things. Um, everyone here is really nice. Uh, we've got some amazing teaching assistants here uh, who help with everything. Um, they've also got some great teachers. We've got a couple of foreign, we've got one foreign teacher who I consistently work with who I'm helping train so we can do more demos and work a lot more with the smaller kids. Um, and we have a lot of great Chinese teachers too. And it's, it's a very nice change of pace um, from going from one position where you're all over the place to coming to somewhere where it's more, um, everything is in tune. You have an idea of what you, what you need to do and how you need to do it. Uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> right, so what I'm gonna do uh, later on is I'm gonna post a video of my previous apartment talking about how I'm going to be moving all my animals. Um, Peach is currently in the vets. She is being um, basically, she's having surgery to so she, that she's fixed, so she can't have any puppies. 
uh, it's the best way to go. You know, I've had the cats done, I've had Luigi done, Peach needs to be done. They're all coming with me uh, here at some point. They're currently at home. They are being taken care of by my work colleague, Michelle, which is very nice of her. I found a puppy yesterday and uh, I literally wanted to keep the puppy, but I couldn't because I don't, I can't have three dogs. There's no way in heck. And he's a boy. And also the fact he's going to get bigger uh, to the point where he'll probably be bigger than the other two dogs. There's no point. I can't keep him. I, I managed to find him a home. I got him defleed and uh, dewormed. Gave him some food for him as well. Uh, also some mats so that he can potty train and um, bought him a leash and stuff. So they've got everything for him. Uh, I believe his new name is Moon, which is great. I, I didn't, I was going to name, I couldn't name him. If I named him, I would have kept him. So that's a good thing. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I would like to take you from my routine, but I think I'm going to have to have permission from the bosses to do that eventually. But that's pretty much it. Just a quick video for you guys today. Uh, I'm going to be posting a video on the PlayStation, Hong Kong PlayStation 4. So uh, I'll explain more about that. Am I getting the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox One X? Or was it the Xbox Series X, I think it's called? Yes, but not on uh, the first point of sale because currently uh, people have pre ordered the crap out of those consoles and you it's a rarity to get any of them. And I'm not going into this whole buyer's remorse thing where people pay thousands for something they could probably get for hundreds. So I'm going to wait. That's pretty much it. See you later, and this has been Mike saying I will see you soon.